Good Sunday morning, everybody. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to today's video. Today, I want to start off saying happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Tiffany, my partner in cruising crime. Today is her birthday, so I want to make sure I wish her the happiest of birthdays this year. Now, let's jump over into the cruise news. We're going to start with a little cruise tip. We've talked about it before. We've said it before. Travel insurance is, look, it's a must have. It is one of those items that you won't need it until you need it. It's one of those items that, sure, you could take 20, 30, 40 cruises and never, ever have to use your travel insurance. But that one time, that one time that you need it, you will be really glad you had it. And this story is an example of why it is so important. Recently, there was a couple sailing with Royal Caribbean. They were doing a four-night sailing. The gentleman began to have a medical condition. He was having seizures on board the ship. He had to be medically evacuated off by boat. But before he was evacuated, the cruise line presented them with a bill, a bill for $2,500. This was to close out their shipboard account, as well as charges from the medical facility that needed to be paid, needed to be covered prior to them leaving the ship. Now, the cruise line does this whether it's a medical situation or not. If you're just getting off the ship on disembarkation day and you owe that ship money, they're going to take you out of the line. They're not going to let you clear the last step of security to disembark until you go to guest services and settle your bill. Well, it is the same way no matter when you're leaving the ship. Now, in this case, no travel insurance. They didn't have insurance, which means these expenses had to come out of their pocket. They were forced to drain their bank accounts in order to cover this bill just to be able to get off of the ship. So this is just another example of what could possibly happen if you travel without travel insurance. Next up, we have reports of a gastronomical illness on board Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. Now, normally when you say that, you think, oh, norovirus outbreak. Well, in this particular case, it's not norovirus. Apparently, it was some bad tacos. So around 200 people have reported the gastronomical illness on board the ship. And the one common denominator amongst all of them is that they had pork tacos in the main dining room. So not norovirus. It's looking like it's more possibly a case of food poisoning. Now, Royal Caribbean's protocols jumped right into place. They started enforcing lines at the Windjammer Cafe, enforcing hand washing. They roped off self-service areas, including the buffet. Things were being served by the crew members. And it even caused the disembarkation delay at Coco Key, Royal Caribbean's private island. The Bahamian officials would not let people off of the ship. They said it took about 90 minutes before the ship was cleared. Passengers were allowed to disembark, and Royal Caribbean did stay an extra hour at the island to kind of make up the time difference. And you know it's rough on passengers when you're on a four-night cruise, you eat some bad tacos in the main dining room, and yeah, that kind of messes up your cruise vacation, where instead of being out on the Lido deck enjoying the sun, enjoying the music, enjoying the cool ocean breeze, that unfortunately you might be stuck in your cruise cabin because of an issue with food on board the ship. And finally, June the 1st is fast approaching. And for those of us in the cruising world, that is the start of the hurricane season. And hurricanes can play all kinds of different havoc with cruise ships. It can result in canceled cruises, itinerary changes, missed ports, rough days at sea when the weather kicks up, all sorts of things that make some cruise passengers very unhappy people. However, it is a risk that you take if you sail during hurricane season. If you book a cruise in hurricane season, it is just something you need to put in your mind right up front that weather affecting your cruise is always a possibility. Now, the National Ocean and Atmospheric Association, they're releasing some predictions. Now, keep in mind, these are only predictions. Mother Nature has a tendency to do whatever she wants to do. She can change things all of the time. Weather can change from day to day, week to week, month to month. So only predictions, but they are saying there's an 85% chance of higher than normal hurricane and storm activity 
for this year. They are predicting anywhere between 17 and 25 named storms this year, with 8 to 13 of those storms becoming official hurricanes. Now again, these are just predictions, but again, it's something to keep in mind, something to remember that, look, if you're booking a cruise in the hurricane season, there's a chance of storms, there's a chance of rain, there's a chance of some rough seas, and you have to know this before you book the cruise, that way you're not one of those people that's on the cruise ship writing nasty comments about cruise lines because they cannot change the weather and you had yourself a rough cruise. All right, and that is gonna be our video for today. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. We'll let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.